took every fucking dollar and never paid me a dollar for money gun once upon a time never bitch see that's why i can why that's why i could never do another record with you again because any record that i do is gonna do numbers they may be not as much as once upon a time but that's because i had people who were for themselves instead of for the unit and for the team so with that being said I have other dope records besides Once Upon a Time that came after him that I get paid for. Like, <clears throat> that's not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> they said turn the vacuum cleaner off. That's a foot massager. But yeah, so he finessed me, basically, long story short. He finessed Kazi. He finessed Dricky Graham. Y'all know that song, Yeah, Okay. Y'all just mad we scoring. Yeah, okay. And that other one, snapbacks and tattoos, snapbacks and tattoos, nice whips, flaunt chinks, uh, 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 okay? <laughs> yes, a bitch got finesse. But it's okay because we working on that and you always only one hit away. I'm one hit away. So, I got this new song that's out right now called Yaya. I got another song called I Just Wanna Fuck coming and I would love to have Cardi on it. But obviously, like I said, there's a lot more that you have to do and you have to make happen when a person is signed to a label like Cardi signed to Atlantic. You feel me? There's a lot of like politics and shit like that you have to go. It's not like Cardi could just be. That's why I am always love because I know she can't just be like, oh, I'm doing this record. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she probably could say, yo, I want to do the record. But ultimately, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's Atlantic's decision, I think, from what I'm, you know, from what I'm told, uh, like, from other industry people. Like, I love, 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 love the new Wild Style record. Love it. And I'm so happy that I think it's, like, number eight or something. Let, make it go number one, y'all. Make it go number one. Diamond. Somebody else brought her up, and I was just saying positive things, so calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I love Cardi. That is my sis, and I would never. So, y'all need to really stop trying it in these comments. Right now, we're talking about my new single, Yaya, with Dixon was. Um, yeah, why y'all? I just want to know. What the fuck? Why y'all always hating on Cardi? There's a lot of people in my comments that, like, it's always, every time I say something positive about her, or any time, like, what the fuck? Did she, like, spit on you or something? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let that girl be happy. Let that girl enjoy her success. Like, come on now. I definitely want... I'm coming right now. I definitely want to do a song with Ruby Rose. I said that already. Either her or Lotto. Either her or Lotto. DJ Hercules, yes. Oh, so the only reason why y'all hate on Cardi is because the whole Nicki shit. Y'all hate on me because of that too. But at the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, people get over shit. People get over shit. Like, people have kids, they move on, they get married. They, like, come on. Y'all, what y'all need to stop doing is trying to put female rappers against each other. That's what y'all need to do. What's up, Yanda? Y'all need to stop putting these, trying to put these female rappers against each other. If y'all want to blame anybody, blame y'all motherfucking selves. Because y'all really be in the comment section talking some crazy shit, trying to violate bitches. And a lot of people not going to have that. Lotto, Cardi, Koi, Mr. Chicken, and Fats. Yes, Cuddy. I would definitely work with Coyle Ray. And she's from Jersey. Yeah, the barbs don't move on, Laura. They don't. They stay stagnated in one place. That's the problem. And it's, it's no shade because there's a bunch of little fucking 12-year-olds and shit. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it comes a point where... It comes a point where you have to be like, yo... <laughs> Support all female. If you fuck with an artist, support them. No matter what beef they have with another person. No matter what. Support that person. Like, period. 
Y'all feel me? Like, <clears throat> for example, right? I fuck with people that certain people that I fuck with don't fuck with. But I still fuck with them because I'm not going to let nobody change my opinion or my thoughts on a person because they have their own opinion. Look at this skin. I've been taking really good care of my skin. I've been taking really good care of my skin. But no, while we here, let me just address this real quick. And this is this is this is this is to all the barbs, right? Just just support who you love. Listen to who you love. And don't worry about nobody else. The opposition, whatever you want to call it. Just focus on the person. Just focus on the person that you support. Don't focus on the person that you don't. Like, that's so stupid. Bella underscore Melissa, you comment too fucking much, bitch. How about that? You fucking comment too fucking much. I'll address who the fuck I want to address. And I'll say what the fuck I want to say. Because none of y'all motherfuckers pay my fucking bills. None of y'all motherfuckers wipe my ass when I take a shit. Okay? None of y'all motherfuckers pay for my hot water. Period. Period. I support who I want to support. I fuck with who I want to fuck with. And that's it. If a person don't support me, then fuck you. Period. Period. I support all female artists. All female artists. All female artists. In 2021, I support all female artists. Marylin has grown. Marylin has evolved. And that's it. What? I gotta get off this log. I need to put this out. Trying to start some shit. I'm gonna throw my chonclas and sweats on. It's hot out.